The International Women's Day is a day on which we celebrate democracy and the struggle for democracy. The fight for the right of women has been and is still one of the biggest historical struggles. It is because it's the fight for fundamental rights. It unites all kinds of minorities, be it women, homosexuals, different ethnic minorities, or people of different color of skin. All these collectives have grown stronger in their claims thanks to thousands of women who have stood up in history for the recognition as equals. Equals as men, equal before the institutions and the law, equals in their freedoms. Spain and especially Catalonia have a long tradition of feminist movements. The first female minister in Spain was in the Second Republic and it was a Catalan woman, Federica Monsen. And just now, after the recent elections to the Catalan Parliament, we can celebrate the fact that almost half of the deputies are women, with 64 over 135 seats. We often forget that the struggle of women for their rights is the struggle of half of the world's population. No government, no politicians can remain indifferent to such a claim, to a need like this. And with one addition, the women's claims for their rights do not refer to men as their enemies or rivals, but as to their friends and colleagues on the path to equality. As the government of Catalonia, we are committed to the SDGs of the United Nations and actively support the equality of women in our society. Happy Women's Day. My name is Heidrun Kopp. I established the Institute for Sustainable Finance in Vienna. Uh, so my name is Petronella Hawamova and I work in the public relations and marketing department in an investment company in Bratislava, Slovakia. Sí, yo en Tec María García eh, eh, trabajo ecologistas en acción en temas de contaminación y cambio climático. International Women's Day is a day when we celebrate the achievements of women, social, economic, or cultural. It is a day when we speak about uh, gender equality and, and we call for action in gender issues. My personal view uh, from a person coming from Slovakia is a bit different, is maybe a bit skeptical. And I remember it as a kid from the late 90s, early 2000s. It was a celebration which was often hijacked by politicians and um, the politicians would thank them for, for being women, for being so beautiful and for being able to take care of the household, which I quite frankly found a bit ridiculous. But I'm very happy that the narrative is changing nowadays. To me, it is an annual reminder that there is still a lot to do to grant women equal access to corporate careers, to executive positions and fair payment compared to male colleagues. And that we still run into stereotypes which seem to stick like glue. Don, bueno, es eh, un día de gran celebración del movimiento feminista a escala mundial. Yo creo que es un día importante y que especialmente en los últimos años yo creo que también ha hecho un cambio incorporan otras lluitas que son confluentes a las demandas. demandas. Tura que facho de la igualdad de género es desde el enfoque del ecofeminismo. La real de, de que estas desigualdades es muy más profunda, están vinculadas en aquel sistema patriarcal, aquel sistema que de crecimiento que no um, eh, contempla a que esta limitación biofísica del planeta y eh, el que Cales puso el énfasis en el cambio de aquel sistema de organización social, económica y política, ¿no? So for me, gender equality means equality between all genders on all levels, regardless of the race, religion, sexual orientation, and um, it is a status when people of all genders have the equal rights, um, equal, equal opportunities, and of course, also equal responsibilities. I believe it's essential to achieve um, gender equality for peaceful society, to achieve um, 
full human potential, and of course, as well, sustainable development. In 1918, which is slightly more than 100 years ago, women became the right to vote. What appears quite naturally to us today was the result of years and years where women stood up for this idea, facing imprisonment, facing social exclusion, and some of them even lost their life to fight for this idea. Still in the 70s of the last century, women had to ask their husband if they allowed them to take up a job outside home and to open a bank account. What do we actually consider achievements? Is it the fact that uh, we have a first uh, vice president in the US or we have a female president in Slovakia, um, a female counterpart in a, in a company now finally gets the same wage so I definitely think there has been a lot of progress over the last decades um, or centuries. But then the question is also, where do we set the benchmark? Have we achieved a gender equality? I think the answer is still no. There are still many challenges. There are still many discriminatory laws, many social norms in, in place. Um, women still continue to be underrepresented on all levels of, of political or corporate leadership. Because if gender equality is not um, achieved at all levels, then we are missing the point. Total threats, um, civil and politics, com comentaba, uh, son son resultados de las lluitas de del feminismo. Yo el que estoy veyendo eh, preocupan muy preocupan menos es una involución de aquellos derechos eh, en que, que se habían guañat. Aquí no es de extrañar a que esta pujada de, de la ultradereta cuando veían que el sistema económico actual no está donando respuesta a las necesidades básicas de la población y aquí las principales afectadas son las donas. It appears that we are now facing a certain setback to our efforts for equality. I even came across a survey only recently, which stated that 73% of the women participating in that survey considered a higher workload than pre-corona. As a result of many um, lockdowns in, in different countries, uh, many women had to stay at home, which definitely led to an increase of domestic violence. For women who are working from home, uh, this has become extremely um, difficult. Unfortunately, the social norms are still that it's mainly to the women's job to take care of the household, which all in all uh, makes having the women practically not one, but two or three jobs. The que se ha mostrat es la fragilidad del sistema y el que ha mostrat es especialment aquests treballs essencials que son necesarios para la vida. Y aquí es trabajos esenciales en vez que son las donas que están a los supermercados, que están a los a hospitales. Y yo creo que aquí uh, no no me ha valorizado el trabajo de las donas, sino también ha visto uh, mostrar la precarización. And what also impacts the financial, the banking industry was a new regulation, a new law, which came in place in 2018. I'm talking about the women's quota in place for the composition of supervisory bodies. Quotas are very often controversially discussed, but uh, and they should be only a temporary tool, of course. But on the other hand, it works. Then come a el moviment ecologista uh, ha revifat um, aquesta crida dels joves que estan eh, posant la urgència que tenim a nivell de canvi de polítiques eh, en els propers de ones. Crec que clarament avui eh, la lluita ecologista ecofeminista està en el centre del debat. There have been a, a changes in, in social norms policy put in places, many big investment companies or investment banks or corporates change their policies and are really now looking at diversity. 
but I don't think the, the fight is won at all. So it looks that we probably might face more quotas before getting rid of them. Despite the fact that an increasing number of women is nowadays employed, statistics show that old age poverty is female. According to Forbes, there it's almost 46% of, of uh, individuals in finance are women, but it's only 15% that it's in the executive uh, positions. In aquests moments, Sería eh, demanar la responsabilidad política para hacer un cambio de, de rumbo, eh, cambio a nivel de, de una sociedad eh, donde la, la vida y las necesidades básicas se cubiertas para el conjunto de la población. No pueden tornar darrera, sería el picho del camins, el que en fe es situarnos en un no mar on posar la vida en el centre, aquest seria el meu missatge. Necessitem fer un salt quàntic. To me, it looks that the future is a sustainable female. Let's not go for the low-hanging fruit. Let's not blind ourselves with bold statements and easy social media posts about gender equality, but let's actually do something about gender equality. So it's a call for action.